But basically, you can re-gear and put any gear ratio in any axle that you want to. Um, I'm not going to go super in-depth today, but the idea with when you start talking about the different axle sizes, the difference in the axle sizes has to do with the differential itself. Well, it, the house, everything's different. But why we say, okay, well, a Dana 30 is different than um, a Dana 44, which is different than a Dana 60. Um, the reason we are saying that is because the actual differential size is different. So that big chunk in the front, your differential that houses your gears, changes in size based on what axle you have. The bigger the axle, the bigger the gear set. Quick overview, super in-depth on everything. If you look at, um, and I'm not talking about the third generation JL, JL, UJT axles, because they're their own. So they're kind of in between some of these. The new axles, um, like with the M186, the gear, ring and pinion gear is larger in that than your traditional Dana 30. So I'm just talking old school, traditional, if you had the Dana 30, a Dana 44, and a Dana 60 all sitting there lined up together. When you walk up to them and look at them, you're going to notice, you know, your Dana 30 chunk. So your differential is like this size. Then the Dana 44, it, it's a little different shape, which I'm not going to be able to make. So we're just going to do sizing. Is like this big. Then you go to the Dana 60, and it's that big. Um, and I'm, I'm making a big difference here because I just want you to see what I'm trying to explain here. So Dana 30, then Dana 44, then Dana 60. With each one of those axle changes, the differential size changing, the ring and pinion gear change. So one step further, Dana 30, Dana 44, Dana 60 all lined up next to each other on the ground. All of them have a 456 gear in them. The ring and pinion gear size itself in that Dana 30 is going to be smaller. Now, it's still a 456 in the Dana 44, but the ring and pinion gear are going to be bigger than the 456 in the Dana 30. Then in the Dana 60, that 456 gear set is bigger, even though it's a 456, than the Dana 44. Then if you look at the difference between the Dana 30 and the Dana 60, you're going to notice a significant size difference in the same gear, same gear ratio, same number of teeth. It's the same gear, but the size changes based on the axle. Really, with that answer for the Dana 35, again, are you talking like a true Dana 35 or a Dana 35C um, or are you talking an M200 and calling it a Dana 35? Because there is a difference there.